Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video today, I want to talk about three beneficial habits that I formed last year in 2021. So the first of these habits is gratitude reflection during my daily walks to campus. I tried to develop this habit because I was trying to find a way to more regularly incorporate gratitude reflection into my life. And so I did that by coupling it with a daily activity or habit that I already have going on, which is walking to campus. There are a great number of studies showing the health benefits of gratitude. And this one right here is just one of many. Gratitude blocks toxic emotions, reduces stress and fatigue, and improves mood, self-efficacy, and sleep. And these in turn can increase adherence to health behaviors, lower blood pressure, and improve mental health. And if you want to delve deeper into the health benefits of gratitude, the Positive Psychology Center at the University of Pennsylvania has a tremendous amount of resources there. So I'll link that in the description below. All right, the second habit that I developed last year was reading before bed. And primarily, I did this on my Kindle. So really getting a Kindle, I got it in 2020 and it was pretty revolutionary for me because I really streamlined my reading because, because paperless, all my books are in one place, it's synced across, across devices. But really just reading in general before bed, I think is a great idea. First, it's great for being part of a regular nighttime routine, which can play a large role in your sleep hygiene. And secondly, reading before bed is a great way to just read a lot more books. This year I ended up reading a total of 10 different books. And compared to previous years before, this was quite an increase. So if you're looking to read more, maybe try reading before you go to bed. Basically what I do is when I lay down, no more technology, I'll just read and then read until I get tired. And then once I'm tired, I just put away my Kindle, put away the book, turn out the lights, and then go to bed. All right, and now the third and final habit I developed in 2021 that I wanna to share to you is listening to podcasts, audiobooks, or talking with people on the phone while I'm doing household chores. Now, one tool that really enabled this was uh, headphones. You can use any headphones, but I got a pair of AirPods this year, and they're great because they have a microphone built into them. But really, any headphones that you have can enable you to do this. One of my favorite podcasts I listened to this year was called Hidden Brain. And essentially, it's a social science podcast that explores the unconscious patterns that drive human behavior and engages with questions that help us better understand our world. And in fact, on one episode about habit formation, I learned about coupling new habits to existing ones to improve long-term maintenance. So that's how I help to better develop my habit of daily gratitude reflection. So I would listen or talk while I do the dishes, uh, run the vacuum, clean the bathroom, uh, fold clothes or do laundry, things like that. One area where I notice I'm not able to do this is while I'm cooking. Uh, just for me, that requires a bit more mental focus. And so listening to audiobooks or podcasts while I'm do doing that can be kind of challenging. So the two great things about this, I feel like, is one, it allows me to either learn while I'm doing chores or to connect with people by talking to them on the phone. And as a result of doing this, it makes doing these household chores a lot more fun. All right, so those are the three beneficial habits I formed in 2021 that I want to share with you. Daily gratitude reflection, reading before bed, and listening to audiobooks, podcasts, and talking on the phone while doing household chores. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.